Hello, welcome to our channel. I'm Coco. Gary and I are travel content creators, and today I'm gonna show you how to pack all of your stuff into a carry-on luggage. I've been to 44 countries. I've been on one week, two week trips, two month trips, four month trips, and I packed all of my stuff into a carry-on luggage. And people always ask me, how do you do it? Well, today I'm gonna show you what I like to call the um, filing cabinet method. And in a minute, you'll see why. So the first thing I like to do is gather everything that I'm gonna put into my luggage. So I get out all of my clothes, all of my undergarments, bikinis, shoes, everything that I'm gonna be putting into my carry-on luggage. I get it out and then I categorize it. So I make a pile of all of my dresses, a pile of my pants, a pile of my shorts, a pile of shirts. Um, that way when I'm packing everything in, I'm gonna pack it into the same area. So when I go to look for a shirt, I know where to look for my shirts, for my dresses, etc. The first thing you wanna do is fold your item into either a square or a rectangular shape because this is gonna make it easier to put in your luggage and take out when you're ready to wear it. So fold your item into a square or a rectangle. So once you folded your item into a square rectangular shape, you're just going to lay it in your luggage and just make sure that the item does not go above the height of the luggage. That way when you close the top, it doesn't get smushed down and wrinkled. When I put things inside my suitcase, I like to put them in long ways because there's, in most suitcases, there is a middle bar and I like to use that kind of as my divider. So I put my clothes in long ways so that I have basically two rows of clothes and this allows me to fit more things inside my suitcase. So once you have quite a few pieces in your suitcase already, what you want to do is have a pile on the side already folded into your squares or your rectangles and then one by one squeeze the pieces that are already inside so you can continue to add more items but you don't want to pack them in there so tightly that it makes it difficult for you to pull them out or to put them back in. So you want a little bit of room, but at the same time you wanna put enough in there where you're maximizing the room that you have. Now I'm gonna talk about how to fold each type of clothing. So how to fold shirts, how to fold light jackets, shorts, pants, and dresses. For shirts, it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna fold the item as best as you can in a square or rectangular shape. So usually what I do is I'll lay the item out flat and then I'll fold one side, fold the other side, and kind of just continue folding. Sometimes I have to fold and refold um, just to make sure that I get it into a square or rectangular shape. For shorts, I do fold these a little bit differently than what you might think. I don't fold them in half. What I usually do is fold them from top to bottom and then I fold right along the crease in half. So basically you're folding your shorts into fourths. This allows a lot more room and um, it's, it also makes your shorts compact so it's easier to fit inside your luggage. With pants, what I do is I'll fold them maybe three or four times. So the first fold I do is in half and then I usually fold from bottom to top maybe three or four times to make sure that it's going to fit perfectly inside the luggage and that it won't be taller than the height of the luggage. With dresses, what I usually do again is lay them out flat. I'll fold them once in half and then I'll just do several folds, usually from bottom to top um, until I figure out a right height or the right shape to fit them in perfectly to my luggage. Once you have all of your items inside your luggage, so you've put everything out, you've squeezed out the excess air, the excess room, you've put in as many things as you possibly can without it being too tight, um, so that way it's still easy enough to pull things out and put things back in. The next thing you're going to do is your shoes. So usually what I do is, for the most part, I put my shoes in bags to prevent any dirt or germs getting on to my clothes. So I'll put my shoes in a bag, and then what I'll do is lay them on top, um, usually the bottom side up, 
And this allows for me to be able to kind of smush the top once I zip it all up and push everything down. And the other reason I put my shoes on top is that way when I go to open my luggage at my destination, shoes are on top. I usually pull those out first and then they also don't take up a lot of room that you can use for packing clothes. So I know what you're thinking and you're probably like, well, what the heck do I do with my dirty clothes? Because I don't want them contaminating my clean clothes. Well, what I do with dirty clothes, again, I usually take an extra plastic bag. Um, if I'm at one destination for a few days or a week, I'll put my dirty clothes into the plastic bag. I'll leave it out somewhere, maybe in the bathroom or somewhere in the room. And when I put them back into my bag, I usually just put them in a corner, in a designated corner or end of my bag, so there all the dirty clothes are together. And yes, they might be slightly touching the clean clothes, but this is going to ensure that you don't have to repack in another way or that you don't have a huge pile of dirty clothes that you can't now fit into your luggage. So I'll put them back in and then that way when I get home or when I get to the next spot where I can do laundry, I know exactly which clothes are my dirty clothes and I just grab that little corner, pull them out and do laundry. The very last thing that I pack is my undergarment. So my socks, my underwear, any bikinis or bathing suits that I have. Usually what I do is I'll put my undergarments and any bikinis, I'll fold them so they're super compact and I'll usually put them in the zipper area of my luggage. And then with my socks, what I usually do is I'll pair them and then I'll just kind of fit them in wherever there's any holes inside of, in the main compartment of my luggage. You're probably wondering what I do with my toiletries. For the purpose of ease and usually because like I said, I carry everything on, I don't put my toiletries in my actual suitcase, I put them in my backpack. This way when I go through security, I can easily pull them out of my backpack. I don't have to unzip my entire luggage. So I put all of my toiletries inside of my backpack. That way I can pull them out and put them back in a lot easier. The last thing I like to do once everything is inside my luggage and it's all zipped up is I'll put a luggage band around it. So this you can get at Amazon, I'll link it below. And the great thing about the band is that it just kind of smushes everything down once again and makes your luggage nice and compact for you to carry on. In a couple weeks, Gary and I are gonna be going on a two month trip through Southeast Asia. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be giving you um, some vlogs, more travel tips, what we do for work, all kinds of really fun and interesting things. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or have ideas for other videos, you can always comment below. Peace, love, and free your wild.